Artificial intelligence is becoming a part of everyday life and it is gaining popularity as a tool for dentists to use for procedures like dental implants. Earlier this week, one Flagstaff dentist took the use of robotic technology to a whole new level. <laughs> Elliot Polikoff joins us with more on this dentist. He gave himself a dental implant. How do you do that? Yeah, it's pretty wild. I mean, Jamie and Yetta, it's not too often that you hear something like this, but you can definitely hear of that people using robotic technology for a whole bunch of stuff. But on patients, I don't know, maybe. Tuesday, Flagstaff dentist David Yang, he became the first person to ever give himself a dental implant, though. And the craziest part, he wasn't even nervous about it. What did you do? <laughs> That's the question Flagstaff dentist David Yang has received over and over from friends and family. People who don't understand the product look at it and go, oh, that guy's crazy. Even Yomi representatives had hesitations. They're like, we're going to have to talk to legal about this. <laughs> but after Yang dug a little deeper into this Yomi technology, not to mention using it on several of his patients, the decision to use it on himself wasn't difficult. The robotic system allows us to be more precise. You no know, chance of uh, having uh, something malfunctioning or having uh, you know, damage to the patient. It's basically all taken care of. For those who are thinking it was just Yang in a room with the Yomi machine, not quite. There are still two dental assistants there making sure the robotic arm is doing what it needs to do. But thanks to 3D imaging and a tracking arm that moves with the patient, all David had to do was say a few words and allow Yomi to do the rest. He will lock you into place. And then the Yomi will tell you, hey, I need you to basically move, you know, uh, 20 degrees to toward the patient's head, left, right, wherever he needs to go. And when it gets to the exact plant site that I have a treatment plan, it'll lock itself in. On a scale of one to 10, Yang says the level of pain after doing his implant was a 0.5. I had a nice steak dinner last night. <laughs> At this point, it's hard to find many negatives with the Yomi technology. So does this mean dentists could eventually be out of a job? It still does not replace us. You know, it's we are the ones who's feeding the information where we want the implants placed. Once that information is entered, though, it could be more of a hands-off approach for dentists moving forward. Less discomfort, um, you know, accuracy. Those are all the things that you know, um, as much as I would like to say I am good at, but I could never do what exactly what this machine does. I do want to add that this Yomi technology it is FDA approved. Yang says there are only two machines in the state and only about 100 worldwide. The main reason why there aren't more, well, as you can probably guess, they are expensive. Yang says he paid about $225,000 for his. Jamie and Yetta, back to you. I know you are not like me, but I would have needed to see that myself. Did yeah, you look I'm into his mouth? Yeah, I'm definitely having at least a few dozen people go before I even think about doing something like <laughs> you, that. Did you and look even, into his mouth and see the implant? I mean, he said he was feeling good and it was looking good, so <laughs> I, take his, I, I, try, I take him for his word. <laughs> Interesting you, stuff. Yeah. Thank you. The future is now.